In this OSLO video, I'll talk about field and pupil coordinates. Object and pupil coordinates are used to define the rays that are traced through an optical system, and the definitions depend on the system setup. Uh, in some cases, you might have an object that is uh, very far away, infinitely far away, and you define, say, the object points with angles. You can have the same thing for pupil points. Uh, it just depends on the system itself. Generally, field coordinates are going to define a ray's position on the object. The object is what we are trying to image or see. Pupil coordinates define a ray's position in the beam from an object point. So you can see for these two different object points here, we have multiple rays that are traced and go through the pupil. And likewise, we have uh, multiple object points that we can define. So the field coordinates define the ray's position on the object. The pupil coordinates define a ray's position in the beam from a given object point. Now, it's very important to understand, and a big purpose of this video is to make sure you understand that Oslo defines these object and pupil coordinates in a fractional sort of way. What this means is, uh, depending on how you have your field of view or your field set up for your object, and then your aperture or your pupil set up, uh, you're going to have a maximum value for uh, the different rays depending on what coordinates being used. So what occurs is when you go out to a 1.0 that simply means that you're out at the edge for say the field of view you would be at the full field of view for the pupil it would mean you're out at the edge of the defined uh, pupil for the system. Now the pupil is a little bit more complicated to talk about because many systems will have a pupil that is internal to the system. And so that will require us to understand a little bit more about how Oslo needs to launch these rays through the system to fill the pupil correctly. And that is a different set of videos that are on getting light right through a system. The key is that uh, if you have 1.0, you're using the definitions of the maximums for the pupil and the object coordinates. And so you must understand how you've got the system set up for the field of view, whether you have object or image size or some angular type of metric if you have an object that's infinitely far away. Similar things for the pupil, you might have an entrance beam radius or a numerical uh, aperture setup. So let's take a moment here now and look at just a couple of cases just to give you an idea of how this looks in the program. So this is the same system I was just showing. Uh, it's, it's a system where I've just got a one-to-one -one, uh, imaging system. So it's set at the two times focal length point away for the object from uh, the lens essentially. So this is uh, often called a 4F uh, types of type of imaging system. So in this particular case, if you look here, I have an object defined numerical aperture of 0.123 and I have a field angle of 2.57 degrees. So if I have a 1.0 defined for the uh, pupil coordinate, then that will be going out at the edge of this beam. Now this can get a little bit uh, tricky when you're dealing with off-axis points and things like that simply because of radiometry looking at pupils at angles you might have systems that are vignetted so you have part of the beam cut off but the key is that uh, when I have 1.0 for the object numerical aperture I'm 0.123 and for the field angle I would be at 2.57 degrees for the object so what I'm actually going to do here to look at this in slightly more detail is let's just take a look at the lens drawing conditions, UOC space DRL for the command, or you can just pull it up here. You can see here we've defined for the on-axis and off-axis, we're going to the minimum and maximum pupil size. If I were to change this fractional coordinate, let's say I want to go 0.5 here. Instead, when I look at the picture, you see I'm looking at not quite out at the full field of view. The funny thing about these coordinates is we can actually go greater than the 1.0 or full field. So if I do 1.5, I'm actually tracing now outside of my defined uh, full field of view. So that's actually really useful. You can actually set up rays to go outside of the pupil or outside of the field of view and also let you do all that. So be a little bit careful when you're using that, but you certainly uh, can do things that way. The other thing you can do, of course, is you can also uh, do the same thing in the pupil. So here we're going to go to minus 0.25. So you will see this bottom ray that it shows here is now 
uh, not going through the bottom of the pupil and that's just this is just the drawing conditions version you can do this for any uh, ray that you trace uh, through the system if you haven't watched it already I suggest everyone watches our single tracing a single ray through an optical system video so I'm going to undo those changes because I'm not going to change this file in particular. Let's actually look at one other case. So I've got a, a slightly modified case of uh, the Sigler uh, telephoto lens in here. Again, the, the system doesn't really matter. I'm merely showing this to show a case where here we have an object that is extremely far away. So we are defining it. Uh, you could define it in terms of angle, but here I've set it up to be defined with the image height. So I have a sensor and I'm projecting back outwards through the lens and seeing what the angle would be uh, in the front of that. And I have an entrance beam radius defined here as uh, the different points that are going to go through the stop are actually defined by different points uh, for that entrance beam radius. Those changes uh, are actually made under this setup for the Praxial Setup Editor. So uh, what you define to be your field and pupil maximum coordinates is going to depend on the system setup up and uh, once you have those set up recognize that you can uh, use this fractional property where 1.0 is out at the full uh, field of your full pupil and you can go greater than that number and you can also go less than that number.